Yo, what's up everyone? Enadzit here, and I get a gameplay for you of me on Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Once again, we're going to be playing on Drone Domination. Going to be playing in a party of a couple subscribers. Not a full party, not a um, small party, but it's just a medium-sized party. I think there's like maybe five or six people, so... Trying to do an Ogre Twitch here, no clue why that is. I think I was just kind of messing around, but... Um, I don't do anything special this game. I just go 57-5 uh, and five with a Swarm or two or something like that. Um, kind of laggy in this game, actually. There's a couple moments where it's like, dang, that was laggy. But, you know, uh, I think everyone's on a 3-bar right now. Yeah, well, at least I'm on a 3-bar, so... And we all know how great a 3-bar is in this game. But anyways, what I want to talk about today is actually... Uh, Call of Duty 4. I was watching a video from Trump uh, just now, actually, and I was kind of thinking to myself uh, just about COD 4 once again. And uh, I, I've had an idea about COD 4 for a little bit now, but I've kind of been keeping to myself that I don't know how I'm going to exactly do it yet, but... I'll get to that later. But I've been thinking about COD 4 just because I was watching uh, a video from Trump. If you guys don't know who he is, he's one of the original, one of the more original com uh, commentators on Call of Duty. He's uh, been doing it for a while now. But uh, I was watching a video from him and just watching him play COD 4 on, you know, whether it's PS3 or Xbox doesn't really matter to me, but, you know, I, watching him play COD 4 again was just so nostalgic to me because COD 4 had something that no other game had. And it's not balance, it's not, you know, it's not weapons, it's not any of that, but it's just the nostalgia of playing it again, because, you know, I could always hop on PC COD 4 and just play it whenever I want, because on COD 4 PC, it's still relatively active, in comparison to, you know, uh, most other games, Call of Duty 4 is still pretty active on PC, um, which is kind of surprising, actually, but... You know, I can do that anytime I want, but there's something, it's, it's so, it has such a great nostalgic value to it that it's... You can't get it from anywhere else, really. I mean, just all the times that we're playing on, um, you know, COD 4, I just, I, I don't know, I don't know what makes it so different, but, you know, I've had so many memories on just playing Call of Duty, at least, I've, you know, Modifier 2, uh, World of, well, World of War, kind of, I hate World of War, but still, you know, uh, Modifier 2, Modifier 3, you know, Black Ops a little bit, uh, War, World of War a little bit. And, uh, you know, um, you know, we're starting up uh, Black Ops 2 now, so, you know, we, we all have these sort of, like, memories, these sort of nostalgic feelings whenever it comes to an old game that we used to play. And I think that's one of the things that COD 4 really had that ran for it. It, it caused memories. It made everything, you know, it, it came up with things that, like, it's kind of hard to explain, at least. It, it made it seem like you had, like, a lot more nostalgia. You had a lot more moments where it was just, like, that was amazing in that game. Rather than any other game in this uh, in this whole franchise. So I've been kind of thinking to myself, you know, what made Call of Duty 4 Call of Duty 4 other than the nostalgia? What was it that other games aren't doing that... Uh, that Call of Duty succeed, Call of Duty 4 exceeded in, but other games are not, ex uh, like, exceeding in? So I, I, I'm talking more of a, a gameplay mechanic sort of uh, aspect right now. I'm, I'm thinking of uh, like you know what gameplay mechanic made COD 4 COD 4, and um, you know I, I've been thinking of actually running private matches. This is my idea. I've been thinking about running private matches with subscribers and posting the videos of the results, and I would change the rules slightly to see what it would be more like. So um, you know I see in this game I I feel like I really feel like the health regen in this game is super slow. I I don't know if you guys have ever noticed that, but I just feel like the health regen is super slow. And I feel like if we you know up the health regen, what would that do? What would that cause the other players to do? So you know I want to I want to get like people together. I might not do it with subscribers because I feel like they might be biased. They might uh, you know they might tend to rush more than the average players. Because, you know, they're watching YouTube videos and nobody likes to camper on YouTube, so, you know, I, I feel like I want to get, like, a group of people together. Uh, hopefully random, but, you know, I do whatever I can. And I want to change a bunch of tiny rules. My first thought was, uh, you know, health regen, because that's one of the things I noticed in this game is that health regen is super low, I feel like. I don't know if anyone else has actually noticed that, but, uh, like I said, health regen, I feel like health regen is super low, but... So I feel like if I if I up the health regen, will that cause people to move around more because they have full health and they feel safe to move around? You know, what are what are the different things that we can do? I know there's a lot of things also that we can't exactly control. So it'd be like um, uh, what is it like extreme conditioning? I feel like extreme conditioning needs to be infinite. There has to be infinite sprint in the game for there to be people running around and doing everything. I know it's not realistic to have an infinite sprint, but when you have the the more ability you have to move around, like you know having full health or you know re, uh, regenerating, regenerating your health faster, having more health or whatever, if you uh, you know 
less head glitches everywhere. If you uh, you know make it so everyone moves faster or uh, can run for longer or if not infinite, you know wh what are these gonna do to change the gameplay mechanics? So I, 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 does that sound like a good idea to you guys, like at all, or am I just crazy for some reason? Am I, am I just like you know talking out of my ass right now, thinking like oh I can fix this game when I'm just some kid who's just been playing you know Call of Duty for how many years now? How many wasted years? Actually, it's not really wasted. Paid for my laptop, PS3, and a bunch of other games. Got a bunch of free games too. So yeah, it's not that bad that I got addicted to this game. But, you know, um, am I am I going crazy right now? Do you guys think this is a good idea? Would you guys be all for it? Because I this would be a series I could do. I feel like this is something that I feel like I could do. It's something that a series that I I feel like it it could be my niche or my niche, whatever you guys want to call it. Uh, a, a long time ago, actually, I did a commentary about um, you know, and I said niche, which I still to this day like professors, teachers, you know, other people I hear they all say niche, but everyone in the comment section decided to say, oh no, it's niche. No, I, I don't understand. So leave in the comment section below, do you guys think this is a good idea to try and, you know, get a group of people together in a private match? Would you guys be able to watch this? Because if I do do this, chances are my gameplay isn't going to be that amazing. So I might feature other people's gameplay, not gameplay, but you know, like other people in the lobby who are doing well. I want to, I might do like a highlight reel of like all the people who are doing well and everything. I might do, you know, try and show everyone, show how they were playing and see what changed about their gameplay style with the new aspect added. So uh, leave it in the comment section below. Do you guys think that that's a good idea? Because I would be all for it. I think that could be my that could be my show that I do. Because everyone, I really think everyone needs a show. Um, you know, when, when you have a show on YouTube, I feel like you have a, you know some crazy. You, you have a uh, not a good a good chance of getting more popular, but you know, you guys know what I mean. He's not a quad loader. Nope, that's a triple load star. Whatever. So anyways, uh, leave in the comment section below if you guys think this would be a good idea. I think I would be all for it if you guys want it. And, uh, you know, you guys can leave in the comment section, uh, not right now, obviously, but, you know, leave in, the, in each of the videos, you can tell me each week, like, give me ideas of, like, what could change and make the game better. And, uh, w you know, what could developers do to fix their game? Because we all, we all want these games to be fixed in one way or another, because no game is perfect, obviously. There's no such thing as a perfect game. There's always going to be flaws in the game. But I... I, I feel like there's some way we can make a game pretty damn close to perfect if we could get something like COD 4, you know, just take out Martyrdom, Last Stand, maybe Frag X3, I, people say Frag X3 is overpowered, I, I, I don't know, man. There's some maps I thought it was, but, you know, other maps were, you know, pretty, there, there was pretty diverse maps in there, I think Wet Work, 3 Frag, oh my god, it just rained like it's fucking 300 in here. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay, hope you guys enjoyed this commentary, thank you for watching though, and see ya!